Okay, episode 46 and uh, only Lexus is left now. <laughs> and last episode was pretty awesome because we finally seen how powerful Mia Jane is <laughs> and how she just crushed Freed. And Freed was kind of traumatized from that. And also Lu uh, Lucy was able to defeat the one of the legends uh, with the help of Lei, of course. Yeah. They have to defeat. I guess if they if they are able to put um. Oh yeah, because she was two, uh, two of them, two Celestial Spears, and also maybe a Loki takes uh, consumes a lot of magic. Oh, oh it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and another thing that was revealed is that um, Gadgel is working with someone. So he's just trying to infiltrate fairy tale right now and take gain their dust. So it's kind of worrying though. It's kind of sad because I'm starting to like Gajil and that um, Juvia invited Gajil at the same time. So it would somewhat reflect to her. Reflect back to her. Oh, is that Mr. Gan? I know. Oh! One of the oh, so Polushka. So, so how was she, how was she informed about this? Because I'm pretty sure that the guy who was trying to uh, go to her was stopped by Fred. Yeah, <laughs> just like she did before. Like, I guess that's maybe that's her specialty since she's the one who also gave Urza <laughs> her right eye, artificial right eye. So in order for them to stop the the orbs, they oh. Maybe Lassus knows that, and it's and it's just oh maybe he's just having a, a tantrum or something or tries doing this oh that would crush him. I wonder what broke them apart oh maybe the, the expectations in comparison so he was pressured yes especially maybe macro is Makarov is very powerful user, so that's why Lashes is a lot to live up to. Oh, oh, you fan. So maybe. You so I'm presuming we will, he will definitely come back again if he was just banished or something.
What if? Oh, what if Ivan is the one that um, Gajil is talking to right now? That's why. Oh. And though if he is. was with the <laughs> with the air with the headphones I wonder what he uses that for oh, oh Mr. Ganzir <laughs> <laughs> yes, we find their guy and see who's stronger. Who's the strongest among the who's really the strongest among them? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> And um, real Jane. And I wonder who really, who Mr. Gun really, really is, because I'm thinking he's a former, he's one of the veterans of Fairy Tail. But he looks kind of young. We just when they had a close up. Oh, <laughs> oh they're coming there. <laughs> now Laxus is going to be outnumbered. And he has a lot of staffs. Oh. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. I don't think. What is that? Oh, what kind of magic is this? Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's very different from the ones you've seen. Oh, it's an illusion. Oh, it's a lot of spells. Oh, five blade. But would it work though? Oh, he also.
Oh, yes, if he's thunder, it would be very fast. Oh, they're here. Jalal? Is it Jalal? But how? What happened? Oh, he is! Wow, I'm kinda confused now. Because. <laughs> then who was the one? Yeah. Oh, so that's why Patryushka forgot her name already. <laughs> Recognized him or something because of Urza. Oh, a part of Jelal or something. But he is very, very powerful, though. She's emotionally not prepared. Oh, kind of cut, cut her off guard. So, <laughs> I guess last is the him as a threat. But once she awakens his dragon slayer, <laughs> I think it would be pre pretty, pretty good fight, and maybe he'd be able to defeat Daxus as well. Oh, he's holding his own. Oh, <laughs> you shouldn't let her guard down. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh they're heading close, but I guess Lax is just the be bigger advantage for now. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, at least she was able to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess she didn't know that. So they had, they have to put, they have to stop. Oh. Oh. She even has something for thunder. I guess she, she. Whoa! <laughs> I guess she has armors for different kinds of elements. Oh, 
I guess she's stepping down. Oh, I think she can do it. She, she, she took one of the. What magic was that? That the phantom used, and she survived. So I guess I, this would just be somewhat easier than. Easier than uh, <laughs> and I hope um, Lax is be able to wake up from his tantrum or something. Especially that Makarov is Makarov is in grave danger. Oh, what it would be. It would be too sad if I guess they would really need a successor then if if Makarov is going to pass away. Oh, she really is going for it. I guess they really ha have no choice. Or maybe. Maybe Jedi will help her or something. Oh. So she could she could do that. I think Natsu really has the weakness in his Dragon Slayer. Who's Warren again? Is he the one who makes painting? Oh, it's only 30 seconds. Only 30 seconds has passed since then. Oh, he's having regrets doing this. <laughs> so does that mean he cannot stop it? Does that mean Laxus can really stop it? Even if... Oh no, but he's just need, needing the... The step down of the master. I guess he can... He just doesn't want to do it yet, because he really is desperate to become the becoming the master. Oh, there's a lot of weapons. Oh, it's a lot of lacrima. Oh. Ah, oh, she really. She uh, Earth always sacrifices herself for for the almost all of the time. She's really what I love about about her. With the Phantom, with the Tower of Heaven. 
she's like the tank <laughs> of the of the guild she always takes the blow for everyone and uh yeah this was a kind of a really surprising episode because so we, we i'm i'm not pretty sure i guess they they will explain it later but so mr gun is jalal so maybe and he thinks that and also mr gun said that he's not he doesn't know if he's jalal or maybe he's a part he's a part of jalal or something but so that's why he was trying to avoid to be seen in uh on the, from the guild and he's really quite powerful though and his magic magic is somewhat different from what we've seen from Jalal. And he has a lot of staffs and yeah so I wonder what's his I'm really curious to know what happened there how how he was because if because when when did Mr. Gun really join the, the guild is it uh, at the same time Urza came I guess that wouldn't be possible because Jalal would be kid by that time so does that mean but Jalal was shown um, when Lucy was just new to the guild so, so I'm assuming he he came to the guild when Urza is a lot a much older than by then but they also said that no one has really seen Misugan except for the master and maybe Urza and uh, since he covered his face and uh, yeah so that's why no one really recognized him except for Potrushka I think she noticed oh cause uh, I think uh, Mr. Gun did help help them when uh, the battle against the Phantom happened so I think uh, Gerald did something and uh, maybe he showed his oh because if he's if he has a lot of injures, injuries so that that means Patrushka healed him so but I wonder what happened and who he re if there does that mean there's three because the because Sea Grain is just a projection magic of uh, Jalal so does that really mean Jalal I'm like I'm kind of confused but, um, I guess later on we will find out but it's really interesting and uh, I'm kind of happy though for especially for Urza because uh, I think she's been longing for to see Jalal especially with that what happened and that uh, and also that um, also Jalal is uh, uh, the Jalal without the curse of Zerav is really a good guy because he's like the leader of their group and he's, he's the one who's trying to save he's the one who saved Urza in the first place and I think Urza also has someone has somewhat uh, an affection for him so I guess that also is a factor in that uh, yeah so and also I also thought that he, he might probably probably did so but it wasn't confirmed that the Jalal from the Tower of Heaven is really dead. So that's another thing. But so far with this, also Ivan was, Ivan the father of um, Laxus was mentioned. So I thought at first uh, it was just Makarov raising his guns and so that maybe his parents are dead. But so uh, Makarov somewhat banished Ivan because he's hurting guild members so and Ivan has start, has started his own guild so it's possible I'm, I'm thinking that maybe he's the one who's working with Gajil right now trying to infiltrate the guild so he might be the bigger villain of this arc that's what I'm thinking but so does that mean he's, he might also be using thunder or somewhat similar magic to Makarov and if he is, he would be a pretty strong guild. Uh, so he might he, he he might be a guild master. So and that maybe he is from a different uh, kingdom or something. 
but yeah so and also we've seen another armor of urza the thunder empress that uh, it's, re it's really cool seeing her in a different armors and i guess she uses different kinds she really has a lot of those so i guess it's maybe it's limitless that she could use in different situations but she normally uses the one that has a lot of weapons i forgot what was that armor called but it was the first one she showed with the first uh, first arc with the lullaby and uh what else happened oh we 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 we're seeing somewhat the the true nature of an Laxus that is somewhat regretting doing this that he doesn't i don't think he really wants to hurt the people but he's he's convincing himself that he he wants to do, do, do it because he really, he's, he's somewhat desperate on becoming the successor of the master but the sad thing is um oh i guess patrushka would know if that the case is that uh, Makarov doesn't have any much any time left and I think it would crush everyone especially in the fairy tale if that would work to happen because he's like he's like the father of them or all of them and that uh, hopefully if that if that were to happen I hope that it would uh, change Laxus and realize and be, be a part of the guild because not like right now he's just being somewhat a an outcast from their guild and uh yeah i think i i hope he won't be banned from the guild or be kicked out i guess he he's the grand sensor maybe he's using that card as well but i'm hoping he would change because i think uh, they have a bigger problem right now especially with kajil infiltrating their their guild so another i'm I'm thinking maybe another guild war would possibly happen if that's the case but yeah so far um, a lot of questions right now especially with, um, with Ivan and then Miss Togan Jalal and that yeah so th those things are really what's uh, that, uh, I'm really curious to know more so how about you guys what are your thoughts on this episode just leave your comments down below and uh, share your your uh, thoughts or ideas with this episode what you experienced when you were watching this and uh, what were your actions when you see Mr. Gun <laughs> and that he is Jalal so that's why he has blue hair so I'm kind of having some um, suspicion at first but I'm thinking that's that wouldn't be possible if that's Jalal because especially the timeline with what just happened and that uh, also please like this video if you enjoyed my reaction to this episode and subscribe to my channel if this is your first time here for more anime reaction updates and especially fairy tale updates and also i would like to thank my patrons for supporting me and in, in doing this with my channel and uh, helping me a lot in doing, especially if I, when I'm, with this i'm doing on, on a full-time basis and hopefully I'll be able to uh, achieve my goal uh, so that I'll be able to purchase a new computer that I could use for editing my videos much faster so I could create more content for you guys and uh, if you want to be a part of that just check out the link in the description down below for my uh, Patreon page and there you would have an early access and access to uh, uh, polls that I'll be doing so uh, yeah that's pretty much it with what I could uh, say to this episode to my reaction so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed my reaction to this episode have a great day goodbye